Season's greetings. Are you home for the holidays and need a little help talking to your family about human variation and race? Oh, hey, Grandpa, how's it going? Sure would kill for a good bowel movement. So your mama told me you're taking another anthropology class. Oh yeah, I'm taking this really cool class called Human Variation. What? Okay, essentially we're looking at all the environmental and biological factors that make people different. Give your old grandpa an example. For instance, we can look at skin color. People have oftentimes been grouped together because of the color of their skin. Even though skin color has been used as a proxy to split people up into groups called races, it's oftentimes inaccurate. Well then why do we look different? That's a good question. The evolution of different skin colors has been heavily influenced by the environment. This is a map of the world and all the different skin colors in it. You'll notice the darker skin colors are closer to the equator where they're getting more sunlight. People along the equator create greater amounts of melanin which acts as sunscreen to protect folate production. Folate is important for making babies. Speaking of which, when are you gonna make one? What about your grand dog, Tur? Don't quit your day job, kid. Well, why are there white people? Great question, Grandpa. As human populations moved into higher latitudes, they had to adapt to a colder environment with less UV radiation. To produce vitamin D, we need UV rays. Because melanin acts as sunscreen and protects skin closer to the equator from sunburning and from folate degradation, folks furthest from the equator got lighter skin so they could absorb the rays and produce vitamin D. And you can see that populations in higher latitudes have lighter skin. They might identify as different ethnicities or nationalities, but they still have the same skin color. But that makes them susceptible to sunburns when they go closer to the equator. And those with darker skin are more susceptible to vitamin D deficiency if they move to higher latitudes. Your grandma's so white, sometimes I think she's a ghost. She's not dead, is she? That would be a real plot twist. No, sweetheart, I'm not dead yet. Just really freaking white. So when it comes to skin color, it's slow, gradual change over time and space. So the environment shapes the way we look. Okay, well, does that mean we're really genetically different? Actually, humans are 99.9% .9 genetically identical to each other. Are you saying race isn't real? Race is real in terms of being a social construct. Next, you're going to tell me sex isn't binary. <laughs> uh, about that. What? Send me your request for grandpa. Have you learned anything that can help with my roids?